if you don't know there's such a thing as an archetype of self, uh, you will tend to have ways in which you are unconsciously identified with it. So in other words, if, uh, if, if th and this is one of the important things about Jung's psychology, because if Jung is correct, as I'm convinced that he is, that there is an incredibly powerful agent in the psyche that contains codes for the individuation process and yet is loaded with extremely high voltage energy, then if you don't know that there is this great thing, I like to call it the God self, because uh, Jung talked about the archetype of self as the God imago. The, you, you can say it's the, some would say it's the image, the imago dei. But uh, I don't like us uh, uh, putting it that way because that implies that it's just an image in the psyche and it's not a living presence in the psyche. And so what, what uh, I would say that there, if, you don't, if there's a living presence in your psyche and it has tremendous knowledge of the ground plan for your optimal development and yet it has enormous energies that if, if you cannot relate to them consciously, you will either spend too much of your life without a conscious connection to those energies or you may be connecting with those energies uh, in an unconscious way and uh, having th and those energies do not manifest positively in your psyche so so this is why it's in my personal view uh, it's so important that people understand the, the that the this Jung's idea of the archetypal self, this organizing center in the psyche, but also this enormous generator of, of energy in the psyche, generator of extremely powerful energies in the psyche. If you don't know about that, and you're either just projecting that center on other people, or you're identifying with it and you're a narcissistic personality disorder, uh, that this this has got a lot of implications. So one of the things that I think it's important for us to think about this evening uh, is that uh, if you do not know about this psychological entity in the psyche, you are very vulnerable to uh, to having it manifest in ways which you have no idea. Uh, in which you have no idea what is happening. And, there, and if you're not conscious of it and conscious of the need to relate to it consciously, which uh, is what I'm saying, the, the capacity to relate to that great thing within you consciously, uh, then you are at a great disadvantage uh, in life. So, uh, so uh, the, the getting to that figure four, it's easier to talk about getting to that point than it is to actually have a living relationship to the archetypal self. I, uh, uh, I, uh, I think, however, that Jung was clear about this and Edinger was amazingly clear about the central role of, of getting to get some understanding uh, in your life about how you are in fact related to the energies of the archetypal self and, and uh, what connecting with that energy probably uh, uh, is doing to you in your life. So let me just proceed here.